So today we are working on building my cross bike again because it's kind of destroyed from a year of winter commuting in the salt and snow and you know rain. So the reason we're doing that is because tomorrow I'm headed to the Jingle Cross World Cup cyclocross race in Iowa City. So I need a bike because I'm racing the Cat 5s. So let's try to put it together. So taking this bike apart and check out how worn these brake pads are, dude. <laughs> it's literally like just metal. So, definitely new brake pads, so two sets of those. New bottom bracket, because right now, I just took the crank off to just, just to check it. Can you hear that? When your bottom bracket is like not, when it feels like a little sandy, that's when you should replace it. That thing is like, there's like rocks <laughs> inside of it. So, new new brake pads, new bottom bracket. Um, probably a couple new cables. I mean, I should just do like all new cables, all new housing, but I don't really have time or want to do that today. And new chain, that's the third thing. This derailleur, I mean, I'm just gonna put the derailleur from that bike on here, just cause it's not as destroyed as that one. And then I'm gonna put the chain from that bike as well on here so I don't have to, you know, not as much money. And I think that pretty much does it. And then, oh, also wheels, I need, so I have tires and tubes, this wheel, is probably the best one I have in terms of like hub, like not being destroyed. But this wheel needs a new spoke. So where is it? Right here. Yeah, I'm gonna run to the bike shop quick, get some stuff and put this bad boy back together. All right, just got to the truck store, gonna run in, get some stuff, and then head out. So, feeling like a new man. I got, got bottom bracket, so we're gonna fix that. Brand new brake pads, so we can actually stop. And I'm hoping I have a Shimano chain so that I can just put this guy on it. Um, if it's SRAM, it'll probably still work, but might be a little off. I don't know, it should be good, it should be okay. I think I have a Shimano chain, so. Yeah, and then I also fixed the wheels, so I have a new spoke. I strewed both of the wheels, and I also got a new rim strip, which I did not come here for, cause I was, I kept getting flat and stuff, but now it's like, it's on point. So, Let's go back, put the bike together, and then hit some gravel trails. Clean the cassette. Now I'm gonna throw that guy on here. And then pretty much just clean everything up, put everything together, and go ride. That's pretty much all we gotta do. Do it. So after like three hours, finally think 
it's finished. Oh man, this was a lot of work. It's like 5.30 now. I started this at like two. But basically the main thing that took for a, took a while is I had to take these apart, these brakes, and like lube the inside because they were, like the spring wasn't springy. So it couldn't pull it back basically. But we got a red cassette on there, 1128, 5034. Not cross gearing, but 34 is fine. It's all I need. And yeah. So, like I said, it's 5.30 now, and I didn't get a ride in today yet, so I'm gonna go for a quick hour spin, test out the cross bike, and make sure everything works properly. I said properly really weird right there. So yeah, let's head out on the road. Actually, before I do that, I have to clean up this mess I made. Look at this. Completely, we got cables. We got old brake pads, we got spacers, we got a chain, pedals, whole bunch of tools. There's probably a whole bunch of stuff out in the middle there that I don't even know. We got a frame. Yeah, we're gonna clean this up real quick. Just out here ripping it on the cross bike, dude. I forgot how much fun this shit is. God. Just like not giving an F where the road goes and just riding along. I'm trying to find this gravel trail. But I found like a couple sneaky passageways, which I love. I think I gotta go across this road here, so. BRB. in the middle of the woods don't know where the hell I am it's dark I have no lights and I'm trying to go that way but there's a freaking river dude <laughs> oh dude I was hoping there'd be like a bridge or something bugs Just went down my throat oh my look at this I'm just I need to go like there but there's a freaking river and there's nowhere to cross so I have to go all the way down to here And there was so many like sticks and stuff that I just like couldn't see. I have to go back that way. And there's a one light on in that house and it's really freaking creepy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna head back to civilization. Get out of the freaking woods. Literally, I'm in the woods right now. There's bugs everywhere so head back and get on like an actual road instead of you know instead of exploring and getting lost so just got back 
from the ride. I was heading down this bridge and I get to the bottom and, sorry, let me put my stuff down. I get to the bottom of this bridge and about like four feet, sorry, that was really creepy with the light, uh, about like four feet from like the trail where I was, he was basically a skunk ran across the trail and he was like four feet in front of me, like ass to, to me. So he could have sprayed me, but he ran back into the woods instead of spraying me, spared me that torture. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Super fun time out on the cyclocross bike. Saw that group, so it just got like a group ride. It was, yeah, it was awesome. So definitely gonna be doing more of that. And tomorrow we got a cross race. So stay tuned and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.